What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to make a case on why I think the city premiere is now better than the Chase Sapphire Reserve. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button and I'm probably going to take some heat. Here we go. <laughs> What's up guys? It's Jay. Welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Also, be sure to smash that like button for that YouTube algorithm. It really does help me out a lot. And participate down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on this. So I'm going to give you four reasons why I think you should apply for the City Premier card over the Chase Sapphire Reserve right now. For one is going to be that intro bonus. So the intro bonus for the Chase Sapphire Reserve is going to be 50,000 Ultimate Rewards points. Now with the City Premier, you're looking at 60,000, which is slightly higher. Obviously, now obviously I know that you know the difference between the two. If you use the the Thank You Portal, then you're only looking at 1.25 cents per point. If you use the Chase Portal, you're looking at 1.5 cents. So they pretty much equal out. Number two is actually going to be the annual fee. So with the new Chase Sapphire reserve card the annual fee is going to be $550 okay with the city premiere you're only looking at $95 and you get some pretty good uh, categories that's actually going to be number three the points earning structure so with the chase sapphire reserve you're literally only going to get 3x on travel and dining and then that's about it it's going to be one point on everything else after that right travel is a broad term with the chase sapphire reserve but with the city premiere card you're actually going to get 3x on travel with which is pretty broad in this sense, but you're also gonna get 3X on gas, okay? And I think that is one thing that separates the two, okay? You're also gonna get 2X on restaurants and entertainment. I would imagine that that entertainment verbiage is broad as well, so something maybe like the movies, concert tickets, uh, you know, just, just in general, anything that you would consider, uh, you know, like Dave and Buster's or something like that, I would consider that entertainment, okay? Um, so I would imagine that it's pretty broad as well in that sense, okay? Then on top of that, you're just gonna get one point on everything else, which is a little bit more than what you will probably be using your Chase Sapphire Reserve card for, okay? And then finally, the number four reason. And I think it's probably one of the best reasons, okay? Especially if you're in this for the bonuses, for, you know, trying to do the travel hacking and, you know, trying to travel for little to no money. I think this is probably one of the best reasons to get a city card right now instead of getting a Chase Sapphire Reserve or Chase Sapphire Preferred, okay? Now, for number four, Chase, if you get a Sapphire card, they have what's called a one Sapphire rule, okay? Which means you cannot hold both the Chase Sapphire Reserve or the Chase Sapphire Preferred at the same time. There are people that did take advantage of this in the past, and so Chase went ahead and they made that rule where you can only have one Sapphire card, okay? Now, if you apply for a Chase Sapphire Preferred, you cannot apply for the Chase Sapphire Reserve for at least four years, okay? So once you get approved for that Chase Sapphire Reserve or Preferred, you cannot get a bonus for a Sapphire card after 48 months, okay? Now, with this City Premier card, if you apply for it today, that automatically starts the clock. Once you get approved, it starts the clock and it's only 24 months. You only have to wait for two years to potentially get another bonus for a, uh, for a thank you earning point card, okay? So basically if I applied for the Premier card today my, and I got approved, my clock would start for that 24 month process. So I could potentially get another bonus for the City Prestige card, let's say, right? just two years down the line and I could still take advantage of getting sign up bonuses once I get approved for that city prestige so I feel like this was the straw that broke the camel's back uh, basically just because I feel like that is if, if you're in this hobby to try to get bonus points and sign up bonuses then obviously that does help a lot but Chase is making it a lot more difficult. Obviously, everyone is making it more difficult. And yes, I know people are going to come at me and they're going to say, well, City got rid of all of their benefits. They still have a couple. They didn't get rid of all of them, but they did get rid of they did get rid of quite a few. Chase still has majority of theirs intact. I don't see them really getting rid of that as well. But if you're someone who doesn't necessarily care about those uh, added benefits or, you know, those uh, insurances, you know, travel protections, purchase protections, anything like that, then I would consider going with the City Premier card. Um, it is 
in my opinion it, it, it's a solid card for a $95 annual fee card and it's also going to get you into a new uh, bank right so if you're someone who mainly just goes with Chase or Amex or if you're someone who is in ratty old Capital One's uh, side pocket then I would consider going with City because that will actually be an upgrade from Capital One if you're someone who's trying to get in points and miles okay so let me know what you guys think about this video guys would you actually go for the City Premier over a Chase card I know it's a little controversial, maybe not. I mean, it's really up to you guys to decide that, right? Now, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about this, all right? And that'll conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found this information to be helpful, give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Drop a comment down below, again, to let me know what you guys think. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell notifications down in the bottom left corner, so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next videos. Be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit is your life and i will see you guys in the next one peace